JKG Pool or no pool Hey guys, JKG here back with another One Punch Man video and today will be a pool or no pool video So today's episode will be featuring Gyoro Gyoro Yeah, so he will be coming on the 1st of April So um, is Gyoro Gyoro pool or no pool? Should you summon? Yes. So yeah, that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, if you did, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Hello? Why are, guys uh, why are you guys still here? Um, the video has ended. <laughs> um, why, you still want to know uh, the reasons why you should pull for him? <sighs> okay. I thought this will be my shortest pull or no pull video I've ever done. So, yeah, since you guys still want to know. <laughs> okay, um, let's get on with it then. Um, let's finish this quickly. Okay, so let's go through his ultra ultimate first. His AoE damage for his ultimate. Attacks all enemies. 110% attack. Will be increased to 140%. And the max HP reduction. From 15% to 25% which is insane. So this basically means that. One quarter of your enemy's health. Of all your enemy's health will be reduced with this ultimate attack so you want him to go fast if possible go first so that your enemies have less HP to begin with and then your the rest of your team can cleave easily okay so the pros and cons so Gyoro Gyoro's core actually gives 3 energy per round it gives berserk for all allies at the start of the round and it also reduces all enemies max HP this is um, not part of the core, it's part of the ultimate but then with this three added together it's already really strong so it's a very good cleave team so it gives you extra energy more of your allies can use the ultimate Berserk also gives them extra damage and then it reduce all enemies max HP so your cleave will be a bit more effective but yeah this is not the only thing he can do he can also buff your allies max HP from his passive and then combo up with his core um, the any effects that increases max HP the effectiveness will be increased by four times for the first few rounds and not only that, when your allies, any of your allies drop below 50% HP, he heals them for 40% of the max HP. So it's almost back to full if you like. Maybe you reach 49% HP, he heals 40%, it becomes 89% of your HP. So it's like almost half of the health bar you gain back. And it does that twice. So he can do a half HP bar heal twice in the game and that's a passive it's just part of the core yeah so his kit is insane which is why I say yes you have to pull for Gyoro Gyoro if you want to even stand a chance against other players if you are playing be it, uh, arena life clash or whatever mode even in PvE content he will be useful so for all your story mode your adventures um, your tournaments, um, hero X monster, maybe not, but yeah, all other modes, really, really strong. And then the cons is only a few actually, so it requires a lot of espers, three espers, and currently in the game, all the other espers are not that strong. There's only Boros King, who are um, limited SSRs. Um, you could go with a dot team. So maybe Goribus, Vaccine Man, Subterranean or maybe Genryu, but that depends on whether you have them. 
and yeah but not to worry a lot of good experts are upcoming um, two months later should be Red Mosquito Girl which is also a must pull after that will be another two months later will be the Awakened Tatsumaki so yeah you will have one month in between to save up I would say if you are free to play skip Genos and Watchdog Men go for Mosquito and Awaken Tatsu and then this one it may or may not be a bad thing it diverts enemies uh, diverts damage to allies if the ally is a monster type so it kind of shares damage with his allies so if you hit Gyoro then his other allies will actually get damaged but it's a little bit reduced so yeah it can be a good or bad thing um, I put it under here because the good stuff there's already too many so this is kind of like a mixed ex aspect it's not even really a super bad thing so if you are laning with like a Goketsu uh, built on a super tanky build or a Karnish Kabuto or a Deep Sea King then it should be fine yeah so he can be in the front line with just HP yeah he's there for the passive he's there for the core so you don't need him to deal a lot of damage just go full speed and some HP yeah so this one I can say for everyone he is a must summon uh, yeah no matter how many espers you currently have you have to summon um, there are a lot of strong espers coming up you can even use SRs Kombu for example Mosquito Girl like the normal SR Mosquito Girl is decent but with this core they will be <laughs> yeah the amount of HP they have is really really massively increased and also the decreases opponents max HP so makes them easier to kill yeah so your combo dot you can even uh, combo with the blue fire for the dot team since you still have uh, another three slots no, you still have another two slots because you need one grappler as well. So if you have Goketsu, he can fit perfectly into this team. Yeah, so I think that's about all for the video today. This is the real end. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss future videos. And yeah, just want to give a shout out to my members. Uh, thank you guys for the support. Um, if you guys want to support me, then... Um, check out that join button below um, you, can, you guys can get exclusive content um, videos like this one um, the members got to see it one day early yeah for the rest of you guys um, it's available to public on 28th March but yeah the members got to see it on the 27th yeah so I'll also give you guys a shout out at the end of some of my videos um, the image credit will be in all One Punch Man videos and yeah, I think that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, see you guys next time.